Namaste and welcome to YTV Shows. On our show today we have Mr. Shyam Kumar Kaki, who is a social worker and a media entrepreneur. He has a wide experience in the field of intellectual handicap in his social work. We will discuss about the situation of social work, media and his experience on today's show. Welcome to the show Mr. Kaki. Thank you Mr. Pravis. Mr. Kaki, uh, I have been following you for a couple of months regarding your activities and things you do. I want to know about uh, one major thing about you. How did you get involved in social work? Thank you for the question. Since uh, 1978 AD, I involved in uh, disabled sector since 1978. Uh, through the cause of my sister. My sister also... Your, your sister is a disabled? Yes, my sister also intellectually handicapped and multi-handicap in these days. So from that time, I have been involved in social sector indirectly, directly. Still now. Like what, what actually is multiple handicap? You... Now she is uh, intellectual handicap also. She is also Down syndrome also. And she is also injured. She is uh, now blind also. So we now we call say multiple multiple handicap. Now we can we can call now multiple handicap. And you have such a wide experience in social work. And how do you man manage your prof professional life and uh, social work? It's very difficult to manage social life and personal uh, personal life. But uh, I want to tell social worker who is involving in social work, be careful our own life also because uh, without earning any, uh, without earning money, I think nobody do social work. I think so. Because I lost uh, a lot of uh, my wealth, my property uh, through the, uh, through the, my social work. So I did not earn money, but I, I I, 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 only, I involve my social work through my only parents, property. So I, I think uh, it is not good. First of all, any social sector, first of all, earn, the, earn something, then you do something, so then you do social work. So you have, uh, how, how much family support you have because you lost your wealth and your professional life is much hampered because of your social work. So what kind of family support you have? And uh, what do your friend circle support in your uh, wor working activities? First of all, my uh, family are always supporting me. But uh, without only supporting, nothing we cannot do nothing for the long time. I think we first of all we, we must be on something. Uh, it means uh, proper way. It means money. Yeah? Without money, we cannot do social work. So my so my friend circle also. Uh, time to time support me but uh, they also blame me not only do social work you do something for your family for your life but now I think uh, I lost something but, but I think about my life how to run my life so I'm thinking about to my life about also. Mr. Kagi talking about uh, your specialized subject intellectual handicap uh, I'm conf quite confused about autism, intellectual handicap, and uh, some kind of mental disabilities. What uh, differences uh, you mm, th there are in these three terms? We in 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 whole uh, holistic we can say disabled. In, in one word we use disabled. Yeah. And disabled also different ty types of difference: blind, deaf, physical handicap, intellectual handicap learning disabilities, autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy. There are uh, different categories of the disabled. Autism is, looks like a mental ill. Down syndrome looks like a Mongolian, Mongolian face there. And intellectual handicap, there are also uh, four, five types of intellectual handicap. Mild, moderate, severe, profound, uh, multiple handicap. So th this is vast uh, the difference between uh, autism, Down syndrome, cerebral palsy. Regarding intellectual handicapped, I want to know something more. Uh, 
what about education for education and career building and skill development for intellectual handicap to what is the prosper what facilities do we have in nepal regarding that according to our uh, nepal government nepal government yeah. nepal government they, want, they 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 will be try to support something for the intellectual handicap in the field but they cannot do what 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 they need yeah, because nepal government they, lack of uh, resources also we have yeah. lack of resources in in developed country uh, one is equal to one caretaker in usa one dis one intellectual handicap the, the government provide two disabled two caretaker no. but uh, it is not possible in nepal so it is a situation the intellectual handicap situation is in nepal very terrible very PT. Yeah. So, but uh, government and private organization or social organization will be doing something for the better. But I think we, we cannot uh, um, we cannot go meet the, our goal. What we need only we have paperwork only in these days. Uh, do you have any information regarding any international support or support from um, NGOs for this kind of? Uh, organization? Yeah, there is a uh, international organization also doing something for the better uh, for the disabled people, disabled sector. Mm -hmm. But it is it is not enough. I think uh, government uh, do something for the disabled sector. Without government support, I think we cannot do nothing, and uh, we cannot do uh, visual oriented program. Uh, digital oriented activities so i think be care be um, most attention the government only and uh, regarding the normal people and uh, uh, the intellectual handicapped they don't have much uh, normal people don't are not aware about much about intellectual handicapped their situation and problem they face so uh, what steps uh, should government take so they know about each other and normal people be more friendly to them. Yeah, of course, uh, most of the Nepalese people they don't know what is intellectual handicap. I think this is a lack of uh, awareness. So I think government and social organization or community, anybody, or uh, media sector also need to uh, awareness program. I think uh, government uh, attention to our news program through media sector, electronic media or uh, print media. So uh, without uh, our news, I think nobody uh, uh, familiar with intellectual <coughs> handicap. So I, need, I think we need our news program. So I, I change my topic a little bit. You are even uh, involved in the education sector. So do you see any um, new changes with the upcoming this government, we have a new government right now. So do you see any kind of new thing for uh, education sector and uh, education for intellectual handicap? No, there, we have a lot of uh, work, paperwork. We are changing how we improve the education for the intellectual handicap or disabled people. But only we have working, work, working paper only. Yeah? No, nothing uh, changed before 30 years or before also same now in this days also same condition uh, education sector for the disabled or especially intellectual sector i think nothing changed do you have any data how many intellectual disabled are there in nepal we have no data but only we, we heard about uh, 7 lakhs 30 20 thousands uh, that means uh, almost uh, three percent of nepalese population yeah, yeah. so uh, mm. Again, talking, talking about education and uh, how can we uh, make a better life for intellectual handicapped? I think uh, government, we need a public-private partnership concept or modality. Government, family and NGO sector must be collaborate for the better life for the intellectual handicapped. Without uh, any, any alone sector, without uh, only government cannot do anything, the NGO cannot do anything only. 
and family also cannot do anything. I think we need public-private partners or collaboration to each other, mm -hmm. then do something for the better. And regarding media, mm -hmm. we don't have uh, social media in case, in terms of television in Nepal. Yeah. We have few radio, but they don't have much coverage. So, what kind of uh, media role you uh, see for uh, awareness program, just for charitable program, uh, not not just for commercial, but for charitable programs? I think it's very uh, in, in necessity for the in, in context of Nepal, in context of Nepal, because we need charitable television or we need charitable media, or or we can say uh, public service broadcasting concept we need. But uh, only government only try to uh, broadcast public service broadcast. They want to convert uh, TV, NTV television, but they, 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 not, they did not success still now. I think it's uh, good for the in, uh, for the, our community also. We need charitable television, charitable uh, FM radio, charitable, charitable uh, print media also. Mr. Kagi, uh, you have come such a long way in your social work career. Uh, what do you want to say to someone who, who is a newcomer in, and want to join social work? What What is your uh, suggestion? I think uh, newcomers or new social sector, new social worker, if you want to involve in social sector, they must be attention for the life first of all they, they think about herself or himself what i am doing and what how we do social sec, social work without i think in maybe maybe i am wrong but uh, i want to tell you frankly without any earning the money uh, we, i think we, nobody do social work and this is my opinion and uh, there are so many organizations international and even national they have been involved in doing so, so many charitable things and development work, but uh, we don't see much uh, development in front of our eyes. So, how do you evaluate their work uh, regarding charitable thing and development sectors? Of course, uh, something is better than nothing. So, what is your future plan? What you, what do you plan? You you have come such a long way, and you have been an icon for so many people. You by your lifestyle and simple living, high thinking, working style. What uh, is your future plan for, what, what will you be doing in the next five years? I want to be a social social worker, social worker. But in these days I am planning to, first of all, uh, social entrepreneurship. I want to do some business. But indirectly I am doing business, but I am not involved uh, directly in uh, directly in, in business sector. But now I am involving in business sector, and I I, I I would like to earn some. I I'd like to do some. I'd like to do some business for the social work. So I am my plan is uh, social social entrepreneurship, and we are planning to establish. Uh, we are planning to new cha new channel, new bro new television channel also uh, broadcasting in new new future. Uh, the television, uh, the, the new channel uh, concept is a public-private partnership. Without public-private partnership, we cannot do for the charitable sector also. So my my future plan is, in one word, we, we, I, I can say social entrepreneurship. And media as well as uh, social entrepreneurship, will it sustain? Because we don't see much media are uh, self-dependent because they are in very bad condition. So how will you maintain uh, media and uh, social uh, entrepreneurship in the same pace? Because, uh, yeah, of course, uh, the media media situation is very terrible in Nepal in these days also. We cannot uh, sustain uh, through commercial advertising. But uh, in, in our concept, public-private partnership modality, we have to sustained through public private partnership and some some organizations some government also semi government also ng also ing also public also people also they also make a program for the 
community and they, they pay something for the television channel. I think we, we have to survive through uh, program partnership concept. Today, many people are watching us throughout the country and most of them are youth today who are watching us. And uh, you, have, uh, in, you have been involved in social work and uh, specialized in intellectual handicapped. You are even in media, you are a media entrepreneur and you, are, you have a long history in uh, journalism also. So what uh, message you want to give to today's youth? What uh, kind of uh, path you want to show them? Good question. I, w I would like to say youth. First of all, any youth, they must be specialized in one sector, one, first of all. And through one sector, they recognize. They, this is, uh, I think, my, I think we, we specialize in one sector. One. You have a bad, bad experience about you are involved in multi sectors. Yeah, I think so. It's a multi sector involvement, is, I think, uh, nothing success for the, our life. So, youth people, uh, our youth must be recognized in one sector, maybe media, maybe the social sector, maybe a social, uh, under, social, maybe entrepreneur, maybe any sector. First, the established, then do something after. That's a very uh, good idea for the youth. And Ka Mr. Kagi, I, I've talked quite, for quite, quite a time and uh, uh, with you about uh, media and social work. So, if anyone wants to join you or your organization, how could they con contact you and what kind of support uh, you can provide them and what kind of guidance will you provide? You could, can you give me, can you give our audience your contact information? Yeah, of course, why not? This is uh, our, con I told you our concept, uh, public-private partnership. You know, anybody can come here, join with us. This is open access. Anybody can. So, so how could we, uh, how could our audience contact you? Yeah, my, my mobile number. Uh, can, can you give it now? Yeah, 9851082240. And my email also. Can you repeat your number once again? Uh, 9851082240. And your email address? Info at the red ytvnepal.org. Info at ytvnepal.org. And our office is also Buddha Nagar in Kathmandu. So what kind of uh, f facilities for young students, young youngsters, what, what kind of support and guidance you can provide? Uh, I can provide or I can guidance for the youth, youth people, youth generation uh, to make a television program. Yeah. We had a production house also. Yeah. So if anybody want to make uh, any uh, social call, social mm -hmm. program for the community, they, 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 can, they, they can come here and contact us and we can, we can support to our equipment yeah, without any cost. Oh, that means anyone from Nepal, any, any part of Nepal, if they come to your office, you will provide uh, free mm, equipment and uh, your assistance for the charitable programs. Yeah, of course, of course. Oh, that's a very mm, something good to know. Yeah. And uh, we have almost uh, come to the end of the show. So uh, I want to know if anyone, if we find an intellectual handicapped person in nearby our neighborhood or some somewhere uh, on the road. If we pick them up, do you have any facilities to keep them or any kind of assistance? No, we can assist and we can counseling, we can advise, but we have no any uh, uh, hostel. Yeah. But we can manage how we manage the, the, these types of intellectual handicap people. And uh, lastly, one information regarding uh, government has been providing uh, rupees 500 per month uh, as a allowance for the dis disabled. And do you and you intellectual for even for the intellectual disabled? So uh, do you, your connect, connected people have uh, 
taken that uh, allowance or not? Yeah, some some uh, some people are some guardians or some parents get uh, allowance. Some they didn't get allowance because you, uh, 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 the government did not uh, give a total uh, allowance to all disabled people. What what is the criteria? Criteria is di different different types of criteria, but uh, bo the allowance budget is limited. Mr. Gargi, thanks for coming on our show. Thank you for giving a chance, Mr. Purvesi. Today on our show, we have Mr. Shyam Kumar Kargi, who is a social worker, media entrepreneur, and a journalist. I hope you liked our show. For more details, you can uh, watch us at youtube.com slash ytvshows. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.